Hello everyone and welcome back to Football Manager 2021 and a brand new experiment today where we're going to take a look at what would happen if a non-league team had a perfect stadium, perfect facilities, perfect everything, even the best reputation in the world. We're going to give them everything we can except for cold hard cash. That will be the only thing that remains the same. So if you watched the what happens if we give a non-league team one billion pounds experiment then you would know that the money itself is not enough a team needs to be more sustainable than that it needs to be able to grow and develop uh, and also most importantly it needs to fit in with financial fair play and cold cash doesn't do that but if you give them the facilities and the commercial income that they need to grow and develop then you can start to build a really good team for the future. So the team we're going to use today is Brackley Town. They're in the Vanarama National League North. You can see they've had a good little rise through four leagues over this period of time and getting very close to breaking into the uh, Vanarama National League. But they're just not quite doing it after a long consistent period. So we're going to help them break through that ceiling and get up into league football and hopefully up into the Premier League and maybe even potentially make them uh, Premier League title challenges but that's a long long way in the future now if you are new to the channel please do subscribe uh, down below it really helps the channel grow uh, and develop and also drop a like if you're enjoying this experiment i might do another part uh, after this one just to sort of see how they get on into the future because today we're going to go forward probably about five six years i imagine they're going to fly up the league table pretty quickly uh, fly up the pyramid pretty quickly as well so do drop a like down below if you'd like to see a second part but let's go ahead now. Uh, we'll take a quick look through what the team have done. So you can see they've got this 150,000 capacity stadium. Their reputation is also up really high. If I edit the club details here, you can see max reputation. But I've not only given them the stadium, I've given them 150,000 fans as well. So they're all going to turn up week after week and hopefully boost the £40,000 that they've got in the bank. Uh, now, interestingly, Brackley actually come with an underwriter, Sugar Daddy, before you even get into the club. That's one of the reasons they've been so successful uh, in their recent history. But you can see the stadium here is massive. Uh, stadium condition of zero is the best it can get. The lower the number, uh, the better the condition. Uh, so zero should hopefully leave them with a good uh, stadium for a long time to come. I've given them the roof, the undersoil heating. They've also got the perfect facilities. Most importantly, they've got perfect corporate facilities. So their income is gonna absolutely fly. Um, and hopefully they can just run up the, the table pretty quickly. Nothing else about the club has changed. So they've only got 40 grand in the bank. They've got the same players in the bank. None of them worth more than 20K. Um, and it's going to be interesting to see how they develop. That reputation is going to have a really big impact because it means they could, in theory, sign Neymar. You know, in theory, Neymar would be interested in joining this team. I don't think that would happen, but, you know, it's a possibility. So let's go ahead now one year in time and just see how their finances are looking and how their league uh, season has finished well we have gone one year ahead and you can see here that there's league season I mean it's going to take a little while for the facilities and everything else to run in but you can see uh, at home here 143,000 fans turning up to watch them beat Chester 3-1 uh, no run in the cup competitions but they did make the playoffs they won in the first round 2-1 in front of 143,000 fans but away from home they were beaten by Chester on penalties a real blow to go out like that which means that they haven't managed to make it to the next level you can see though their money is going out it took years for the club that i gave a billion pounds to spend anything near 165 or 300k this team can do it really really quickly and if we look at their senior squad the value has already gone up i just want to have a look at the wages that these players are being paid 10 grand a week um, huge wages being offered to some of these players. Stuart Downing, 37 years old, now at the club, having joined from Blackburn on a free transfer, dropping from the Championship down into uh, Brackley in the Vanarama National League North. Now I'm just going to uh, make myself the manager of Brackley because I want to see what their finances look like. And you can only uh, look at the income and everything else by actually making yourself the manager of the team. So let's go for Brackley. Make ourselves a manager. Just skip through all this. And if we go to their finances screen, so you can see here, look, they started with 40K, actually went down to begin with because they weren't playing matches, but then absolutely explodes up. And you can see they've got now 36 million pounds in the bank. If we have a look at that income and where it's all coming from, 
Uh, starting with last season, they got 46 million in gate receipts last year, uh, 16 million in match day income, 30 million in merchandising. The corporate facilities alone worth eight million pounds. Uh, nothing else coming through. A bit of money in grants, a bit of money in interest from the money they've got in the bank. Only 76 grand in TV revenue, but that stadium and facilities basically giving them uh, 18 million pounds through the year. And if we look at their expenditure as well, last season, 16 million to maintain the ground. So they need those fans coming through because of that cost. 14 million in tax uh, and lots of other match day expenses as well. 10 million on match day expenses, but they've got money going into all their facilities as well. Uh, player wages down there at just half a million, nowhere near anything else. But they're clearly turning an enormous profit uh, and that obviously means that their financial fair play is going to be uh, brilliant as well. No issues around that. Transfer budget, 24 million. Wage budget, 176,000. They can genuinely afford to fill those out. So huge benefits, really. They're making an enormous amount of money every month, which means that they are going to be okay. You can see here the projections going up to 80 million. Um, they're going to have a lot of money. Their turnover maybe going down a little bit. Uh, but their profit is always going to be in the millions. Uh, so the team in a really good place. I think because of how slow this can sometimes take to go forward, we know how much they've got coming in now. Let's go forward two years and see if they've managed to get uh, much further up the football pyramid. So in their second season with these facilities, you can see their league campaign going absolutely brilliantly. Knocked out of the FA Cup in the first round, not going far in the FA Trophy. But they managed to get through in the Van Arma National League North um, I mean, do they actually? They lose one game there. Uh, two games all season lost. So they won the title that year and got up into the Vanuama National League, where you can see uh, into the FA Cup third round, where they took on Stockport but got knocked out in a replay. Oh no, they beat Crew in the FA Cup third round, then beat Huddersfield 2 1 as well in the FA Cup. Knocked out in the fifth round by 10 man Preston, but it took them to the 86th minute. Uh, and their league campaign, absolutely exceptional, Brackley. Uh, and they did manage to get a first place finish and then another consecutive title. Uh, they've spent a good amount of money, I imagine. If we look at the transfer window here, you can see previous season £4.4 .4 million being spent. Tyler Blackett coming in from West Brom uh, and £8 million a year before that. Uh, Tyler Blackett, Jarrell Kwanzaa, uh, Harry Chapman coming in. They're spending a good amount of money. Tyler Blackett here, worth a decent amount. Uh, that's a big transfer to bring him in. Not actually doing that well for them, which is funny. Um, but they are spending an enormous amount of money on players. If we look at that senior squad, sort them by value, you can see they've got a couple of players coming through here worth 10 million. So this this guy here, coming out of that academy, now worth an absolute fortune. Look at that average rating he's getting down there. Um, they've also got Neil Wickham here on a youth contract, 18-year-old right back, uh, because they've got those excellent youth facilities and excellent youth recruitment so they've got great players coming through the team already worth 10 million pounds uh, lots of players on the transfer list um for a lot of money because they're they're obviously buying dud players but if we look at the wages being paid 70 grand a week for tyler blackett this always happens they sign absolutely rubbish players for enormous wages and then they can't sell them because of the money being played dan gosling in there on 30 grand a week in non-league football uh, Lee Griffiths is in there as well. They bought him in on a free. He played four games, scored twice, uh, and now they don't want him anymore. So uh, they're doing an awful lot in terms of bringing people in. But they are also firing up the league system at this point. If we look at the club details, you can see the reputation has dropped a bit. The attendance is holding up pretty nicely. Uh, but they've got an enormous amount in the bank. That's £92 million in the bank a huge transfer budget as well the stadium all right the training facilities have dropped a little bit uh, but they're in a great place to really go on uh, and do really well in the various competitions so let's go forward another couple of years and see if they've managed to make it up into the championship so their season in league two actually got off to a pretty rough start they didn't win a league two game until about their seventh match against bradford city but then they started to turn it around a little bit of a rough patch here uh, but they did manage to win a lot of games in the second half of the season probably brought some players in uh, and by the end of it had managed to sneak up into league one and in league one again doing pretty well in the various cup competitions getting through in the fa cup again before being knocked out by walsall uh, not making it very far in the papa john's trophy but they made it into the playoffs Managed to win against Rotherham, uh, managed to draw against Rotherham in the first leg, but beaten in the second leg at home in front of 145,000 fans. So not able to make it 
out of League One at the first time of asking. Their transfer business pretty diminished now. Uh, not able to spend the millions they were before because they're, they're probably already lean too much on their financial fair play. But they have been able to bring people in on free transfers. Tyler Blackett's still there. Um, I was wondering why he's on international duty. He's on international duty with Jamaica. He's not playing, but he's getting paid 70 grand a week. Um, they seem to have learned a little bit from the errors of their ways. Their wage budget's uh, much more steady now. Uh, when you get into League 2 and League 1, I think they have a, a wage cap. Uh, so they're just waiting for Tyler Blackett to finally get off the, the wage bill, which will be next year. And then they can start to really reinforce their team with proper players coming in. Uh, but if we have a look at their history of managers, you can see Kevin Wilkin here made it 10 years. Uh, a couple of league titles in there, the Vanarama National League. Won a cup competition with the FA Trophy as well. Um, but then was sacked and the new manager, Simon Grayson's come in. 208 days under his belt. I wonder how long he'll be at the club. Uh, it probably depends on whether you're getting these nice little green dots keep appearing, uh, Simon. That might well keep you in a job. But their, their squad is in pretty good shape now. They've got a lot of players worth a good amount of money. Nick uh, Disley here worth £12.25 And he's one of the academy graduates who's come through and done a brilliant job for them. Uh, Jarrell Kwanzaa, £22 million. Signed on a free from Liverpool. Uh, and doing really well for them. So they've got a lot of uh, good young players coming through now, which will help them because that wage cap can be a bit of an impact. But they've got a massive squad, and part of that will be the quality of the players that they are bringing through into the first team. Uh, so right now, they've managed to get up to League One. They're still in League One. They're, they're still on a pretty good trajectory as well, just because they aren't getting promoted every season uh, isn't the end of the world. If you look at this League One table for last season, you can see... They didn't miss out by too much, about 10 points off in second place. Uh, unfortunately, Rotherham went on to get promoted through the playoffs. Uh, they probably should have beaten Rotherham over the two legs, but weren't able to do it. I'm sure they'll spend a bit of money, bring some good players in and make it into the championship. Uh, but that is going to be it for today's part of this experiment. Do drop a like down below if you enjoyed it. Let me know if there's anything you'd like to see that I'm not showing you down in the comments. And do remember to subscribe to the channel. There'll be another part of this experiment out in a couple of days' time where we'll see if they can finally make it up into the Premier League. But until next time, see ya.